If we add two functions together, we can find the derivative of the function that results by just taking the derivatives of the two functions we started with and adding those together. For example, if you have the two power functions, x squared and x cubed, and you add them together to make a new function, a polynomial, then you can take the derivative of that polynomial by just taking the derivative of x squared and the derivative of x cubed and adding those together. So when you add functions together or subtract one function from another, there's a really easy way to find the derivative of the more complicated function you've created from those simpler building blocks. However, if you try to make a more complicated function from building blocks by multiplying those building blocks together, you do not get the right derivative by multiplying the derivatives of the building blocks together. For example, imagine you make the function by multiplying x squared with x cubed, and you try to multiply the derivatives of those together. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. So when you multiply those together and simplify, you get 6x cubed. But that is not the right derivative. We actually know how to find the derivative because we could simplify h first. x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth. And the derivative of that is just 5x to the fourth. That's not the same thing as 6x cubed. The derivative is not what you get from multiplying the two derivatives together. So if you are multiplying two functions together to create a more complicated function, you can find the derivative of the resulting function, but it's a little bit more complicated than just multiplying f prime and g prime together. This is the right formula. You take the derivative of f and multiply that by g. You take the derivative of f of g and multiply that by f. And then you add those two results. This fact is called the product rule. And it's not as complicated as it might seem at first. Um, instead of trying to memorize the formula, the symbols, You'll probably be able to remember this better if you think of it verbally. You take the derivative of the first function and multiply that by the second function. You take the first function and multiply that by the derivative of the second function. And then you just add those two together. These are two different ways of expressing it verbally. Uh, you might want to freeze this screen and read these to yourself and see if it makes sense. See if one of them makes it a little bit easier than the other for you to remember. But find a way to remember this formula so that you can use it because it's very important. Uh, let's just illustrate that it works, at least in the example that we were using for this video. If you start with the function that's obtained by multiplying x squared by x cubed and you use the product rule to calculate the derivative, you're going to take the derivative of the x squared and you're going to leave the x cubed alone. Then you're going to add to that what you get from leaving the x squared alone and taking the derivative of the x cubed. So this is the derivative of the first function times the second function, plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. Calculate those derivatives. The derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. And then simplify. Notice that each of those terms can be written as a coefficient times x to the fourth, and therefore they are like terms that we can combine and get 5x to the fourth. And that was the right answer. That was exactly what we got by simplifying h first and then taking the derivative. Now this is not a proof that the product rule works, but there is a proof, and you can always trust this rule as long as you are correctly calculating the derivatives of the component functions.